Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 14 of the chapter Electrochemistry. Let us now solve two numerical problems based on the conductivity, the measurement of the conductivity of ionic solutions. We have now understood how to calculate the cell constant which is G star is equal to length over area of the conductivity cell and which is equal to the product of conductivity and resistance that is kappa into R. Also we have understood what molar conductivity is and we know that molar conductivity is calculated by having the value of kappa that is the conductivity divided by the concentration in moles per meter cube or moles per centimeter cube depending on what is your measurement of kappa. Having understood this let me now help you understand these two solved examples that are given in your textbook. The first question is example 3.4. The question is that resistance of a conductivity cell filled with 0.1 mole per liter of KCL solution is 100 ohms. Resistance is given to you, concentration of KCL solution is given to you. If the resistance of the same cell when filled with 0.02 mole per liter KCL solution is 520 ohms. Now the concentration of KCL solution has been changed and the resistance changes from 100 ohms to 520 ohms. You have to calculate the conductivity. What is conductivity? Conductivity is kappa and molar conductivity that is lambda m. Conductivity and molar conductivity of 0.02 mole per liter KCL solution. So this is the solution whose conductivity and molar conductivity have to be calculated. The conductivity of 0.1 mole per liter KCL is 1.29 simons per meter. So we have a set of two different values, two different concentrations, two different resistances and two different uh, conductivities at different uh, concentrations. So let us say that the first one, that is the first concentration that is 0.1 mole per liter of KCL, let us call that to be C1. Let C1 be equal to 0.1 mole per liter. Okay? And the resistance for this would be, you can call it R1. R1 is 100 ohms. Okay? And its conductivity, that is kappa, kappa 1 I will call it, is 1.29 simons per meter. Right? Now the second concentration, C2, that is given to us is 0 0.02 mole per liter. And R2, the resistance at this concentration, is 520 ohms. What are you expected to calculate? You are expected to calculate kappa 2 and lambda m2. This is expected of you, right? So let us go ahead. With, in order to find out kappa 2, what are the values that we have? How do you find out kappa? You find out kappa from this formula where kappa would be equal to g star upon r. That is the cell constant upon resistance. So we have the resistance here and the Kappa, the value is here. We first need to find out the cell constant. Once we know the cell constant, for the second case or the second concentration, the values that we have, we will be able to calculate K2 or Kappa 2 from this. So the first step is to find out the cell constant. Cell constant, G star, is equal to Kappa into R. And now, since we have kappa and r of the first values, so we'll say kappa 1 and r1. This would be equal to 1.29 simons per meter into what's the resistance? The resistance is 100 ohms. So, kappa, uh, sorry, g star here would become 120, I'm writing it on this side, it, it should have been a little this way, so I could have uh, saved the space. So, I put it on this side. Now, this would be equal to 129 Simons. Now, Simons is nothing but Ohm inverse, right? And Simons per meter and this is Ohm. So, Ohm and Ohm will get cancelled. The unit you will have would be per meter. 129 per meter is the cell constant. Now that we know what G star is, let us now calculate kappa 2. 
kappa 2 can be calculated from this formula. So, since G star is equal to kappa into resistance, kappa 2 would be equal to G star, which we have calculated just now, upon resistance. Right? Yeah. So, kappa 2 and which resistance? Resistance 2, since we are talking of conductivity 2, it will be resistance 2. So, G star has the value of 129 per meter and divided by the resistance of the second case that is 520 ohms. Right? From this you can calculate kappa 2 and how much would this come out to be? 0 0.248 0 0.248 Simons per meter. Now why do I write Simons? Because ohms when you bring it up, it will become ohms inverse, and ohms inverse is nothing but Simons, right? So this becomes Simons per meter. This is kappa 2, and what is the next step now? The next step is find out to find out lambda m2. That is, you have to find out the molar conductivity. Now, lambda m2 is equal to kappa 2 upon the concentration, the second concentration, but there is a glitch here. Or rather, I should say there is a problem here. What? That the concentration should be reported in moles per meter cube. And the concentration given to us is in moles per liter in both the cases. So we have to convert that into moles per meter cube. So how do you do that? Multiply it by a thousand. As if you do not understand what I am telling you right now, I would encourage you to watch the previous video. Now, lambda m2 becomes equal to kappa 2 and what is kappa 2 that we have calculated? It is 0 0.248 Simons per meter upon the concentration 2 is 0 0.02 mole per liter and to convert it into per meter cube we multiply it by a thousand liter meter to the power of minus 3. To convert it into meter cube right now when you solve this you get the value of lambda m2 and that will be equal to 124 into 10 to the power minus 4 124 into 10 to the power minus 4 simons per meter square simons meter square mole inverse so this is, would be the unit right so this is the first problem. The same problem in your textbook has been solved in terms of centimeters also. I would suggest you look at that. It is just conversion of the units. Basically, wherever you have meters, in the case if you when you had meters, in that case you had to multiply this to convert the polarity into meter cube. You had to multiply this by a thousand liter meter to the power minus three. And in order to convert it into centimeters, you will have to, this would become centimeter inverse, and here you would have to multiply it by a thousand in order to get it in centimeter cube. That's the only difference. Otherwise, when you solve them in centimeters, you will get basically you will get the same answers, only the units would be different. So this was the first problem, and now I'll do one more problem in this video. Give me a moment to write it down. Okay. So now this is question example 3.5. What is the question? It says that the electrical resistance of a column of 0.05 moles per liter sodium hydroxide solution of diameter 1 cm and length 50 cm is 55.5 into 10 to the power 3 ohms. Now the trick in this question is that he has given you the concentration of the solution and he has given you the dimensions of the conductivity cell. And the dimensions have been given because you are expected to refer to the length and area here. So you have you've been given the length and instead of having the area of cross section you've been given the uh, diameter. So you will have to calculate the area of cross section that would be the first step here. So what are you supposed to calculate? You have to calculate resistivity. Now what is resistivity? Resistivity is rho. We know resistance is equal to resistivity into length upon area. So from this, you, you're supposed to calculate rho. So you're supposed to calculate resistivity, conductivity. Conductivity is nothing but the inverse of resistivity. So whatever is resistivity, 
whatever is rho, 1 upon rho will be kappa or conductivity. See? So we'll calculate rho and from that we will calculate conductivity. And the third is molar conductivity, that is lambda m. These are the things that are expected of you. Now, another interesting thing in the previous question, we solved the question in terms of uh, what? Meters, meter cube, meters. And in this question, you have centimeters. So in this question, I'm going to solve the numerical problem with the centimeters. So that way, both kinds, that is whether it's being measured in meters or centimeters, you would be, you would get a little practice of both the ways. And I would again encourage you to solve both the problems with the other set of units. So let us begin. As I told you, the first step would be to calculate the, from the diameter, to calculate the area of cross section. So area A, area of cross section, what is the area? What is the area of cross section? It is pi r square, right? Pi r square. And what is the value of pi? It is 3.14. And if one centimeter is the diameter, what would the radius be? The radius would be 0 0.5 centimeter and square. The square of this into 3.14 will give you the area of cross section. So area would become equal to 0 0.785, 0 0.785 centimeter square is your area. Now the first thing that we have to calculate is resistivity and resistivity is rho. We know that R is equal to rho length over area. Therefore, rho would be equal to R into area upon length, right? So from this, you can calculate the resistivity rho. What is the resistance? The resistance is given to us is 55.5. So rho would be equal to, I let me write it down here, would be 55. 5 into 10 to the power 3 ohms is the resistance into area that we've calculated is 0 0.785 centimeter square divided by what is the length in centimeters it was given to us uh, of diameter once in and length 50 centimeters so 50 centimeters right on the basis of this you um, when you solve this you'll get the value of rho and the value of rho would turn out to be equal to 87.135, 87.135 ohm centimeter. Yeah. Now that you have resistivity, that is, this is resistivity, which was asked, resistivity. Right? This next step is to find out the conductivity. And conductivity is kappa and we know that kappa is equal to 1 upon rho therefore what is rho 1 upon 87.135 ohm centimeter will give you kappa ohm inverse is Simons and centimeter inverse so Simons per centimeter would be a unit and what would be the value it is 0 0.01148 0 0.01148 Simons per centimeter is the value of kappa now that you've calculated resistivity conductivity you now have to calculate molar conductivity molar conductivity that is lambda m and what is the formula for molar con conductivity it is kappa upon concentration so lambda m is equal to kappa over concentration. Now, concentration in this case has to be moles per centimeter cube. So we make the, uh, the adjustments accordingly from the molarity. The molarity that is given to us is mole, 0 0.05 moles per liter. So what is the value of kappa? Kappa is 0 0.01148 Simons per centimeter upon concentration is uh, 0 0.05 mole per liter in molarity and in order to convert it into centimeter cube you will divide it by a thousand liter centimeter cube per liter centimeter cube 
So the per liter and per liter will get cancelled, you'll get it in centi per centimeter cube, and that is what you want. And when you solve this, what do you get? You get 229.6. 229.6, and what will the units be? It will be Simon's uh, centimeter square. Simon centimeter square mole inverse, right? See, Sin the centimeter minus one centimeter cube will become centimeter square. Liter per liter per liter get cancelled. Simon's remains and the mole is in the denominator, so you'll get the unit Simon's centimeter square mole inverse, and the value would be two twenty nine point six. Now solve the same problem using uh, meters instead. And therefore, the concentration would have to be in meter cube, and you've been given the molarity in liters. So you will be changing the decimeters into meter cube by multiplying it by a thousand in the denominator to get the desired unit. So with this, I will finish this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends, and please keep returning for more videos on chemistry. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.